Hi folks and welcome to Shick Happens. The last video I posted was a week ago from this Friday and I had pinned a comment at the very top there that FYI moving forward I'll only be posting videos on Friday. It was getting to the point where I was burning the candle at both ends in between going to work for 40 hours out of the week coming into spring and maintaining this 40 acres property plus all the other projects we have going around here. So I, I'm not getting burnt out on making videos. I love making videos. I'm going to continue to make videos. I just can't continue to do them at the pace that I've been doing them for the last nine months. Sometimes putting up two to three, four videos a week. I just can't do that anymore. You probably noticed the opening of this video with my normal intro music was me with my old lab, black lab Lacey. And you'll see her again at the end of this video. And while this is just an Ohio Country Life vlog with some updates, in essence this video is a tribute to her. Behind me is the section I tilled a couple weeks ago and planted grass in. I think I had mentioned it was in some low ground as you can see in this weather here it's just it's crazy we've had hard frost up till a few days ago maybe five days ago which is why we've held off planning so many things and then once the frost broke in the last three days we've gotten 6.1 inches of rain it's hard to work around that You're probably wondering why in this video I'm sipping on a glass of wine instead of a can of cold beer. Truth of the matter is, I like wine. I like having wine every once in a while. One thing pretty cool that happened recently, and this only happens about once every four years, is we get a pair of Baltimore Orioles, or Orioles that show up on the property. And they're only here for a day or two, and then they're gone. I'm sure that there's plenty around here. We just never see them. But one thing we did do is we picked up some grape jelly and some dried mealworms. And I bought a little stand or a perch with a feeder on it for Orioles and got that set up at first sight of seeing these. And I'm happy to report they've stuck around now for the better part of a week. So I hope it's, I hope it's a nesting pair and I hope there's actually a couple of them. And they stick around here for a few months. Maybe where you're at, they're, they're common. I think mostly on the East Coast, but around here, I just don't see them very often. We get our share of hummingbirds, and we got hummingbird feeders out now, and I think we got three or four showing up already. Usually we'll get maybe up to 15 to 20 of those all the way up and through September. But anyway, I was pretty excited to see these Orioles, so. That's why you see this, this here. Now behind me here, as I mentioned in the past, is our main garden. And I've also had stated that we always like waiting till around Mother's Day or afterwards to get that planted. We had every intention of working on that this weekend. We still might if it dries up enough. But I'll get that fluffed up. We'll get our plants in, our onions, uh, zucchini, some bell peppers, and tomatoes that's on the list to do this weekend and like always that salt treatment that I put in the asparagus beds a month and a half ago it's working its magic on these beds it's keeping the weeds down almost completely and not hurting the growth of the asparagus at all Another thing the wife and I have been doing more frequently over the last couple months is really using this charcoal grill. We have a nice uh, propane grill uh, in the barn here that we use year round. But I've long since forgot how wonderful burgers and steaks and pork chops and chicken can taste on a charcoal grill. 
So this thing's getting used a lot and we're not even into June yet. Now while I had mentioned earlier that I only intend on doing one video a week, every Friday, I'm going to try to keep to that schedule as best I can. There will be, I know for a fact, there will be some videos sprinkled in in between those Fridays because I'm anticipating some care packages coming here to Schick Road. And I certainly want to film those and post them on YouTube. So expect those anomalies there. And then not too long ago, I did a, I put up a four minute video to the governor of Ohio. And I think I'm gonna do another video along those lines to the mainstream media. And trust me, I'll keep the politics out of it. But I just wanted to reiterate that I will be planning on posting one video a week on Fridays, but you may see a few in between here and there. Well, I've probably jabbered on long enough, boring all you folks. But I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on here, kind of my reasoning why I'm slowing down a little bit on the videos. But I do want to continue making videos. I made a promise to myself that I wanted to do this YouTube for one year. And I still have a little over two months to go before I hit that one year mark. And I fully intend on making it to that one year. So anyway, thanks for joining me here today on Chick Happens. And before I go, CJ from the other day has one last little message to share with you. Cheers. So Lori and I just spent the last two hours saying our goodbyes to our beloved Lacey, our black Labrador retriever we've had for the last 12 and a half years. The two labs that I had before her, I took the veterinarian's office when it was their time to be put down. And it was two of the most uncomfortable things I've ever had to go through. And I didn't want to go through it again. So I enlisted my good buddy, my best friend since sixth grade, to come out and pick Lacey up and take care of that for us. Just didn't want to go through it again. I don't know, maybe I'm getting soft in my old age. But anyway, Lacey, rest in peace. You will be missed.